Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and we are flying the F-14 today So yeah, let's thank our members over landing 11B, COTS and COTS for being the full crew members All the Foxbat members and all the Fishbat members, thank you Subscribe and join our Discord and be a member if you want to help the channel a little bit more And today we are flying out the F-14 a little bit Just to show a bit of the AIM-7F being a little bit buffed uh, So as you know, all the missiles, um, you know especially the radar guided ones they were um, buffed basically all of them you know so you can uh, just not the A9C for, uh, for example one of the missiles that were uh, actually nerfed but most of the missiles were buffed so the R23, the A7E, the C, E2, Skyflash, Aspide every missile, A7NF, R24 every missile was buffed in a certain area okay so um, and we are flying out uh, just to test a little bit of the capabilities of these missiles uh, so yeah we are flying out this first match we are using the AIM-7F only uh, and the next match we will be using the AIM-7F and the E2 in the same loadout because after some research on the files um, I noticed that the AIM-7E2 even though it has a kind of a worse seeker in real life, uh, it has a little bit more energy than the AIM-7F in the general way, you know. So it tends to be better at short ranges, obviously, because it burns like a, you know, very quickly. And with that, the energy for dogfights is better uh, than the AIM-7F. I still prefer the Sky Flash, for example, which has a better seeker than the AIM-72. But still, compared to the AIM-7F, it is a very good option to carry um, them both, you know. And obviously the AIM-9s, uh, they were nerfed a little bit, the AIM-9H, G and D as well, which make them kind of bad right now. Uh, I would be surprised if uh, with more 4th generation aircraft being added, the F-14 and obviously many, many other aircraft receive the uh, all aspect missiles like AIM-7L, uh, AIM-9L, uh, R60M and stuff like that, but yeah, uh, but let's talk more about the AIM-7, so they are turning a little bit better, okay, they still have the same amount of energy, they still have the same amount of everything like that, but they are, yeah, that was a, and I didn't have the fire extinguisher in this, uh -huh, in this match, but yeah, I just tried to stay alive until the match was over, uh, so yeah, but yeah, uh, it's, the AIM-7F, it's, one of the best missiles in the game, it has problems with seeking a little bit compared to other uh, missiles uh, but still it is a very very capable missile uh, the range is amazing you know, the energy that it has and it is pulling more so they change it, uh, specifically in the AIM-7s they changed two things so one of them is that it is actually uh, tracking targets from a longer distance when they are cold uh, it doesn't mean that in notching and cranking in perpendicular shots and stuff like that it is better It is basically the, the, the same, you know, we still have problems with that But it will have a little bit more range when the target is cold uh, Obviously I don't advise you guys shooting when targets are cold to you Or aka they are uh, running away from you, you know Because if they shoot one chef, the missile will go for the chef, normally you know, uh, the thing about chef is that uh, the chef needs to uh, be a larger uh, radiation or radio wave um, returns, a larger return of radio waves, you know, than the aircraft that you are firing at. Once uh, you are hot on a target and he's hot to you, so the target is approaching in a very, very fast pace, you know, uh, normally if he just drops a chef, the target is still coming towards you which means that the target uh, bouncing back radiation is larger than the chef one because he's coming to you you know he's closer to you so the target is bigger for the radar with that the target uh, the, the missile will just ignore the flare the chef you know but once the target is cold and he's trying to run away from you uh, the chef will be larger than the target because he will be closer to you which means that the missile will go most, most of the time for the chef I have a video on that but 
Uh, it's just a, a tiny little bit explanation. So even though you have more range in the uh, cold aspect side of things, remember that it is still kind of a not the best kind of situation to fire a missile uh, in a cold aspect. You know, I still think that you should fire an A9 if you are in that type of situation, especially if you fly an aircraft that has a no aspect missile like the A9L. For example, the A9L, it's very difficult to evade at closer ranges, uh, even with flare, uh, if it is in cold, uh, in a cold position, you know, because the engines produce a lot of heat and it has a certain amount of flare resistance, like just like the R60 has and the M Magic 2 has. So in game, I mean, in real life, they're very different, but yeah. And yeah, uh, so it's a thing that you have to consider using radar missiles only in head-on, head-ons and IR missiles in cold aspects, you know? But the, miss the missiles were uh, buffed in that manner, no matter what, okay? Another thing that they changed, uh, as I said in the other videos, is the ability to actually uh, use the, um, uh, the, the, the fins, you know? The fins of the missile turn better. They pull a lot more AOA right now. And with that, uh, it makes it so that you actually turn a lot uh, they turn a little bit a lot better, actually, not a little, a lot better. So the M7F right now, it's a very difficult missile to evade, depending on the situation. Uh, the Super 530 is as well, the R24, all these missiles are. Uh, especially the R24 was buffed, uh, because it was changed to like, uh, basically 2.5 times the amount of AOA that the fins pulled. And uh, right now, the A7F had uh, it had a buff, but not that big of a buff, you know. So uh, yeah, but still, it's amazing because of its energy. It has an amazing, amazing um, delta V of uh, velocity that it can pull, you know. So it it is just a very, very good missile. The normal range that I would fire a missile, it is 30 kilometers. It is a pretty good missile at that range. Uh, but obviously the effective range of uh, no escape zone of a missile, it's around of the missile, it's around 20 kilometers, uh, a little bit less, obviously, if you want to guarantee uh, the hit. But uh, it's a matter of uh, we kind of don't have that kind of thing right now because uh, it depends very much on situation and altitude and stuff like that. For example, if you are flying high, uh, it will be a lot harder to actually get uh, to evade the missile, you know. So it depends on the situation, like a lot. Uh, so you have to consider that, okay, before you just consider uh, any type of number, uh, because it depends. There's many, many variables, and the only thing that you that I can guarantee to you is that it uh, it has about a, a a very good range of 30 kilometers flying, in like a five to six kilometers of altitude, which is pretty amazing. I mean you think about it that's the main thing about this missile it is the ability to have the range because in the sense of the um, of the seeker the seeker is worse than the r24 it is worse than the sky flash is worse than all the others uh, because they don't use a mono uh, inverted monopole seeker and with that i don't know exactly what it is but i know it's a way to uh, counter chef counter ecm counter ground clutter uh, so yeah, and if you know, let me know in the comments, because it's hard to find information about this. But yeah, uh, and here we have a very good situation. So normally I would just uh, fly four, six M7s or four M7s and four M9s or two M9s. But here I'm using four M7Fs and um, two M7E2s for dogfights. So the idea here is to uh, use the M7F to actually long range shots for ro long range shots as I did for that guy there uh, and then for a dogfight yeah got a kill pretty good kill and then if a target is close enough to me I will use the aim 72 you can even uh, maybe use an aim 7 a uh, four aim 72 and then uh, two aim 7 F's but I don't know if the you had a bug that you cannot do that so I don't know but still, I think it's a very, very good option of a, um, of a, uh, a loadout, you know. That was a poor shot by me, but still, it is a missile that is very good at these ranges. 5 to 10 kilometers, this AIM-7E2 will be better than AIM-7F. 
and then when you are flying and shooting at people for longer ranges than that, uh, beyond 10 kilometers, I would just use the normal AIM-7F. But sometimes you can even use the AIM-7F for lower ranges, it's still very very much a good missile. Uh, it, it is just that um, the E2 has a tiny bit, I mean they turn basically the same, but they, uh, it, it is just a tiny bit better in the energy department, you know, and with that you can have an advantage and with that you can get a lo another kill, so it's another thing to consider, I know, uh, it's a lot of things to consider, right? But yeah, uh, and the F-14 right now it's an amazing aircraft, I think we will see more aircraft uh, being like the, uh, what we say, like the counters to it. Um, but it will take a little bit of time, but not too much. Remember, we are uh, actually just getting to um, almost in October. And if you remember, in October, it probably it will start again, the vlogs. And I know it's kind of early, but still, we have two patches to go until the end of the year. So probably we will see. And remember, the, the November one will be the big one, probably, because it is the 10th anniversary of War Thunder. And with that, yeah, they probably will do something big. So as you saw there, the AIM-7F is still amazing at the lower ranges. It's just that tiny bit of information that... Not information, just a tiny bit of energy that you can have. Uh, it will make everything a little bit easier for dogfight, especially. Especially when the target is actually cold to you. The AIM-72 obviously turns a lot uh, harder earlier, you know, than the F. And obviously with that we can see some kind of um, a very good uh, thing in the sense of the, um, the ability to actually get a target on turn, you know, it's a, it's a matter of just, um, just a matter of getting used to it, so yeah. But yeah, I just saw here on my notes on the ability to turn, the E2 definitely turns um, worse than the AIM-7F, I just realized it that the maximum fin AOA for the AIM-7F right now it's 27 degrees and for the um, E2 it is 20.7 degrees so it is a much higher turn to be honest and just bear that in mind you know even though it has a little bit tiny bit of energy uh, the um, it ended up that the, um, the AIM-7F can pull a little bit more and the R24 just for you to know it's 25 degrees, so the AIM-7F can pull the AOAs, that's the thing, it's not, it doesn't mean that the missile is actually turning better, it just means that the AOA of the fins are better, and with that the limit is higher, you know, and with that it can technically pull more Gs, uh, not pull more Gs, but uh, change direction more quickly, because it will pull the, the amount of AOA quickly, and it will pull it will go to the max amount of G's that it can do a lot quicker, you know, and with that it, it, it turns a lot better. You can clearly see the difference uh, on the Air 24 I'm going to make a video on that as well. Uh, it is just very clear because the missile just turns like, a, you know, like no other. It just completely changes the direction very, very quickly. So, yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to it. Um, and, but it, there's not much to get used to actually, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, uh, shooting at the, the right times, you know. And as I said, uh, consider using the E2 together with the F, the F-14, uh, just because of the energy, that it has a little bit of more energy. But, you know, remember that it doesn't turn very, um, it doesn't pull that many AOA on the things, which can be a problem. Obviously, you have to consider as well the radar on the F-14. I would advise you guys to actually lock a target and wait a little bit to see if it's going to uh, go cold. Because if not, if you just lock the target and fire a missile, you will just go cold and it will make you lose a missile. So try to just um, continue the lock, you know, uh, for a little bit, like 5 to 10 seconds max. Um, just wait a little bit more, you know and then you just uh, fire the missile, whatever you want. As you see here, here's the perfect example. Uh, I use the E2 for this, and it does, just turns very well. And then I use another E2 for the F5. So for closer ranges, uh, it is a very good missile because it has an amazing acceleration. And it was still burning 
into the target for those both of those targets so as you can see it's a very very uh, dangerous missile nonetheless you know so yeah but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think about the m7s uh, or the radar missiles in general i will be doing videos comparing uh, the other missiles as well i will be doing videos um Flying out the R-24 and other missiles, I already did one with the R-23 that you can check. Uh, and I think I want to do another one with the M7E, the normal one, because it is pulling a little bit more as well. Look at that, almost got me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye.